Hey everyone, Edward here at Windows Report and today I'm going to show you how to fix the event ID 110 problem on Windows 11 in no time. So the first solution that you should always take in consideration is to tweak component services. Now to do this, press the Windows button, then simply type the following command. Now what you have to do is run this command directly from the search result and in here you have to do the following. Double click on computers, then right click on my computer and select properties. Now in here switch to the COM security tab and under access permissions make sure to click on the edit default button. Now in here make sure to select the group or username that you need and then make sure to set the correct permissions. That means allowing local access and remote access. Now click on OK to save the changes, then apply on OK once again to save the changes, restart your computer and then you can check if the problem still occurs. Moving on, another useful solution is to enable function discovery resource publication service. To do this, press the Windows button, then simply type services and then select it as an application from the search result. Now in here, simply scroll down until you find function discovery resource publication, then double click on the service and make sure that under the startup type in the drop down menu to have this option selected as manual. And now in here, if the service status is set to stopped, just click on the start button to start the service. Now click on apply and OK to save the changes, restart your computer and then you can check if the problem still persists. Moving on, another useful solution is to reset the DCOM permissions. Once again press the Windows button then type in the following command, then select it as a run command from the search result. Now in here make sure to double click on computers, then right click on my computer and select properties. In here switch to the default properties tab and the first thing you have to do is make sure to check the box for enable this distributed com on this computer. So this one should be checked and then under the default authentication level you should have the drop down menu selected to connect. And for the default impersonation level just click on the drop down menu and select identify. Finally just click on apply and ok to save the changes and then restart your computer to check if the problem still persists. Next in line another useful solution is to use the SFC scan. Press the Windows button, type in cmd, then run command prompt as an administrator. Now in here type the following command and then press on enter, wait a bit because it can take a bit of time to scan your PC for issues and then restart your computer safely and you can check if the problem still persists. And lastly another useful solution is to install the latest Windows update. So press the Windows button, then click on the settings icon, afterwards click on Windows update on the left pane and then on the right side click on the check for updates button. Windows will now scan for the latest update and it will prompt you to download and install it and afterwards just wait until it's finished, restart your computer and then you can check if the problem still persists. And that's it! Super simple, isn't it? Of course if this video helped you, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more quality content. Thanks for watching!